In this video, we'll be writing equations for sine and cosine graphs. Now, the only thing that's different on all of these graphs is that some are sine and some are cosine, and then the amplitude is changed. So that's what we're going to be looking for with these. Our directions are to write the equation for each sinusoid. Now, our first one, you'll notice at the origin, y is equal to 0. This is the graph of a sine curve, and we can see that the whole period is done in 360 degrees. So this is the usual sine curve. The only thing that's changed now is we have a max at 6. Now that's a little hard to see, but that number is 6, and this number is negative 6. So our graph has an equation y equals 6 times the sine of x. Let's look at another one. On this one, we can see that, again, um, when x is 0, we have a y value of 0. But this time, instead of heading up to the maximum, we um, are heading down to the minimum. And we can see that uh, this is negative 2 and negative 4 here. So the number to label this minimum is negative 3. And to label this maximum is a positive 3. And we also can see that it starts over at 2 pi. So we've not changed the period any. So the equation of this curve then, um, since it's heading down instead of up, is going to be uh, y equals a negative, and then my amplitude is 3, and sine x. And for this curve, um, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, this is 5, and this is negative 5. And we start at the top when x is 0. So this is a cosine curve, and we come back to the top at x equal 2 pi. So the amplitude is 5, and it's a cosine curve. So y equal 5 cosine x. On this one, when x is equal to 0, I'm not starting at the top. I'm starting down here at the bottom of the curve, at the minimum value. And it looks like 1, 2, 3. This is a negative 3, and this is a positive 3. And I do my entire curve and hit that min again at 360 degrees. So this is a cosine curve. The amplitude is 3, but since it starts at the bottom, it's going to be y equals negative 3 cosine x. Let's 